In all Peace community, it is quite frequent that people do discuss what would happen if certain characters reach their full potential. And in my opinion, that is something that I like to dive into a lot. As in One Piece, there are a lot of characters that have really high potentials, but the story has other plans for them, so they don't really get to see it. Well, in this video, I'm going to be using the people that I believe have the most potential in the verse and then putting them up against each other to see who has the most potential overall. But, 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 before I get into the video, if you guys like content like this, you know what to do. Leave a like and subscribe as I will be doing more content like this in the future. Whether it's One Piece, other animes, or just fiction in general, I will get around to doing it in the future, so be there when I go there. Plus, it's a win win. I upload pretty frequently, so I'll keep you entertained. Anyway, anyway, I think that's enough of my rambling. Let's get straight into the video and really? find out who has the most potential in One Piece. Uh, so first of all, before I even dive into anything, I want to go over the groundwork and then we're going to get into the characters. First things first, I will only be enhancing the abilities they already have. Now when I say this, I don't mean giving characters that don't have Devil Fruit Awakenings, Devil Fruit Awakenings, if I don't know what it's going to do. For instance, I'm not going to give Kizaru the Devil Fruit Awakening when I don't know what it will do. It'll probably be something busted, let's not lie, but what is Devil Fruit Awakening going to do? I have no clue. That guy could use light to do something else i can't really predict that that's only what older can do now the reason i say this is because if i were to do this i would be here for hours you want to know why because there are so many busted devil fruits in the one piece series and very simple ones i mean that is true it's a lot of busted devil fruits within a verse a lot bro because like so much fruits are so op because like bro yeah you got fruit that to where you can speed at you can move at the speed of light. You got fruit to where bro you can turn to a giant dragon. A fruit to where you can turn to a giant. <laughs> a fruit to where you have the abilities of a god. Come on now. A fruit to where you, you can give somebody immortality. <sighs> that could get awakenings could turn very busted and then i wouldn't have to talk about that character i'm sorry i don't have the time for that so i'm just going to limit it to characters that i think i can guess where the devil fruit awakening could be and then you know whatnot and if but if they have a devil fruit awakening it makes it easier for myself but if the devil fruit awakening is pretty unknown then i'm not going to dive into it and i don't think in this video there's going to be anybody i'm giving a devil fruit awakening to that's going to be kind of crazy that i have to then think here and do a think piece on i don't think there is also, do not expect me to just hand Conqueror's Arky to anybody that hasn't been confirmed to have Conqueror's Arky. I'm not doing that in this video. Although Conquerors are stated to have the most potential, there are a few characters that kind of break past that limit. So, I'm going to stop babbling on and I'm going to get straight into the video. And our first up on the list is Law. And Law is a very obvious answer. Anybody that has read the story knows how busted his Devil Fruit is. And what I want to get into is maxing out his Haki. As we know, Law's base Devil Fruit already is kind of crazy. Since if he does have stronger Haki than you, he's able to just cut you in half. And with his new Devil Fruit Awakening, he can do certain things with his powers that is just kind of crazy. Essentially, whatever's in his room is affected. And I say this because it even affects a Yonko like Big Mom. And at that point in time, Big Mom was using her Conqueror's Haki. That means yes, already Law can affect people with great Haki with his Devil Fruit Awakening. So if you could imagine if he maxed out his Haki and what he's able to do with it then. I can't even imagine to think of all the things that he could do with his Devil Fruit. Because once you're inside of his room, he can basically do whatever he wants to. And if he maxes out his Haki, many things you'd want to do to him just won't happen. And with the addition of Future Sight and whatnot, he'd be a very, very hard fighter to pin down since he'd be able to teleport around the place and whatnot. And yeah at his max potential is probably one of the scariest fighters you could go up against in the one piece verse now next up is sanji now that's the thing too with law he can literally coat his sword with k room which is a smaller version of room but he coating it and he coated his sword with it though to where he could have the sword go through his opponent like big mom blackbeard and then do crazy damage with the shock willy Bro, his devil fruit make his swordsmanship way easier and stronger, bro. To where when he slices Virgo in half, in the process of slicing Virgo in half, he literally cut the buildings in half as well with ease. Like with the fruit amplifying his swordsmanship. Just, just like how when he made the room, 
it was a uh yeah, Fuji. He, he summoned the whole meteor. It was raining down on law. And the law, he cut it in half with ease because of the fruit with the mixture of his swordsmanship. I mean, law has a lot of potential, the fruit. And law is still alive. Beppo, his right hand man, clutched up. And please, 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 please relax. Let me explain myself before you man start jumping me. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, as you can see in this panel right here, yeah, Judge says that his potential is limitless. So don't shoot me, shoot Judge. Judge is the one that designed them, so obviously he knows what their potential can be. And as we're seeing already in the story, hey, look, listen, it looks like Sanji's able to use Ifrit Jambe in his base. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to lie. The statement didn't exist. I would not put him here, but the statement exists. And I know people are probably going to bring it up. I know diehard Sanji fans know about the statement all the time. So listen, I, I was going to put it here. It's a statement that you have to take into consideration. And in my opinion, Aloha everyone! It is finally time to return to Motunui. <laughs> what are you waiting for? It's a solid argument, so let's get him put here. For Sanji, yeah, his max potential will just be him maxing out his exoskeleton, meaning that his exoskeleton will be very, very sturdy, and obviously all the abilities inside the exoskeleton will probably get upgraded. So, so the regeneration, the sturdiness overall, and just everything that comes with the full package will be upgraded and whatnot. So, I think as a maxed out fire with future sight and obviously other types of Haki mm -hmm. being involved, not conquerors, he doesn't confirm to have conquerors, so I'm not going to give him conquerors. Yeah, and no conquerors. But Sanji, though, Sanji for sure had the potential, like. As of right now, he has top tier observation hockey. Like it's up there with like a Fuji. You got Luffy. It's up there with them, bro. And think about it, he for sure gonna have future sight. With the potential of his audition hockey, he for sure gonna have future sight, bro. And think about his power, his power to use blue flames in his base form. I mean well, he not, all you have is a base form, but like, instead of using the hockey and stuff, you utilize the exoskeleton for the infant John Bay, he can just stay in his regular regular self and use the blue flames. And imagine he, he did have Conquerors, though. I don't think he's he going to be a Conquerors user. But like, imagine he did. Coding his, like, his flames, his blue flames. Now imagine... He's conquerors to create black flames. That would be crazy work. But with that being said, with all the things that he would have at his disposal, he'd probably be one of the scariest fighters to go up against. Since he's kind of just like an impenetrable like demon. And yes, I think people at the highest tier will be able to damage him. But that's the thing. I think he'll be so sturdy to the point where it's like you got to put your all into it. Uh, following up on my Sanji meet riding escapade, we have Luffy. Luffy is pretty self-explanatory yeah. as he has already reached a certain point in his potential. But like, I think there is still more that we're going to see from him. And I think Elbaf is going to be one of the major arts we're going to see this. With his Devil Fruit being so wide range, like he can do basically anything with it. I'm very intrigued to see how he uses it. And I think I can gauge where it's going to be at. As we all know, Joy Boy was top one in the verse and he is still top, he's top one forever. So I think Luffy is going to surpass that. And because of that, he does have one of the highest potentials, just period. Following up on this brother, we have Ace. Yeah, we all know Luffy, bro. Luffy, bro. His crazy potential, bro. Well, how much he leveled up from like after the time skip all the way to now. To where now he can use a lot, he can utilize gear four attacks in his base form. What more to say, bro? Ace is somebody that's always in these potential talks, and if it's for a reason, he was somebody that, well, in the story, he rarely ever used Haki. I know in his Latin over he does use Haki a lot, but in the main story, he rarely uses Haki, and he was clashing with people like Akainu, Aokiji, and whatnot, and even Whitebeard and Jinbei. So it's kind of like, if he was to fully implement Haki and realize what he can do with Haki, he would be one of the craziest fighters out there. With his blood obviously being related to Roger, and in him having his own little fighting style of his um, fired base devil through and whatnot, seeing him max out his Logia, awakening it possibly, and then using Conqueror's Haki and whatnot to his max potential, 
Ace is definitely one of those fighters that you do not want to run into if he had his max potential. It will probably be a long day for anybody in the verse. I say even Luffy when he reaches the Pirate King stats, I think that Ace would give him a dangerous run for his money. Following up on Ace, we have Kobe. Now, Kobe is somebody that the community loves to underrate, and I think this is one of the one character people will be like, oh, you're giving him conquest, Lucky, but I mean, Bro, look what the anime did with this punch here, yeah, and you want to tell me that I'm giving him Conqueror's Arky? They damn near gave it to him themselves. So, I mean, look, listen, no other punch goes off like this, and it's not Conqueror's Arky. So, Bruh. this, in my eyes, is... That's that's a thing, bro. PvK related. Yeah, remember, not every time Black Lightning is shown, it doesn't mean it's always Conqueror's Hockey, bro. Legit. Law did it to negate the Devil Fruit power that was on him. He was affected by the by the six six fruit, and he used hockey. He admitted hockey to neutralize that devil fruit, and it was black. It was like black lightning too, but we all know Law that Carl was hockey user. Like Kobe, oh, his personality traits, the way he moved, bro. No, he's not a conqueror, bro. If he was a conqueror, it would have been shown some signs of him being a conqueror user. I just think, I think, with honesty impact, I think it was like advanced arm and hockey. That's what I think. It's more advanced, advanced arm and hockey than advanced conquest hockey. That's what I think. But Kobe do have crazy potential. Like he really has the potential to be not garp, not prime garp level, but like he could be like a mini garp with his potential. Imagine he, he gets stronger with the honesty impact and create more moves similar to Garp. Like Galaxy Divide. And it, it, he could have an honesty divide. Like, bro, Kobe potential is crazy. Conqueror Zaki. So, with that being said, with him being a conqueror and whatnot, and him literally jumping up many, many ranks in strength within, what, two years? That is insanely impressive, and you got to realize where he came from. He came from being weaker than like the average One Piece person and now he's what, in one punch, he's able to blow off like an island sized arm. Like Is she texting someone behind your back? A single Spokio search can help you find out who she's messaging. Like, come on now, man. And it's not a dress rose or Zoro feat. Pika and don't ever compare Pika to Pizarro. Don't ever disrespect Kobe like that. Not even Kobe. Don't ever disrespect Pizarro like that. That's just a disrespect. But with all of his growth over the past, I mean, they are similar because like fighting and the devil fruit. Like legit, Pika has the stone fruit, Paramecia type. But think about it, he can turn his body to stone, and to where he can, he awaken his fruit to where he can control other stone around him. To where he, he can create a whole giant body of stone. Pizarro has the island island fruit. To where he can control a whole island and manipulate it how he wants to. So it's similar. It's real similar. It's just one straight stone and one little island. Last couple of years, I do think that Kobe is somebody that is in the running for the spot. Next up on the list, we have Blackbeard. Now, Blackbeard is somebody that has two devil fruits and could possibly get a third, but right now he only has two. And the two that he has are basically the strongest in each of their classes. So let's go over that and really explain why this guy is busted. Give Blackbeard a future stat so he's not getting hit and upgrade his arm and hockey and whatnot and just overall hockey levels. And then let this guy go rampant. I don't think there's a single person that will probably be able to stop him aside from a few, like Luffy and in the future because he will go crazy like imagine you're smashing islands apart and then you're sucking everything up in your black hole like pause pause ah. oh my god pause 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 all right but anyway aside from that so when you now look at blackbeard overall with his potential he is somebody that has a lot of potential and i do believe that if he was to reach his max potential and he's able to do all these crazy things with devil fruit while also having really good hockey and he's not getting hit as much in battle he'll be somebody that's extremely fierce as we already know we expect blackbeard to be the strongest or one of the strongest villains in one piece so yeah he definitely is in the running for the spot now next up on the list is I mean, is it? I mean, the, I don't think he's like a potential. I mean, I thought potential were like to where you can improve your skill and power at the same time. 
Library is not really a skill type of person, though. Skill, you can say Law. Skill, you can say Kobe, Sanji. Those are like skill type people to where they can improve and have crazy potential. Think about Blackbeard. He's like one of those go to people who's like devil fruit reliant and real heavy, way more than Luffy and everything. Because at least Luffy, he could go in base form. He can clash with top tiers in base form. You like restricted hot fruit. Blackbeard, he's devil fruit reliant. So. He had to get a dark fruit to get stronger, and then had to get a quake fruit, and now possibly get in a mythical zone fruit to get even more stronger. Like, bro, he's like devil fruit crazy, bro. Somebody that's probably going to surprise you all, but I think Big Mom is one of the main contenders for that top spot. Now, unlike everybody on this list, I think she is somebody that has realized her full potential, but Oda is trying to hold her back. And if she wasn't held back on Wano, I don't think there was a single person on that island out there would stop her. And yes, that even includes Kaido. I do believe that Big Mom at her strongest is the strongest power on the sea. Or I just say strongest in the verse, and I'm going to explain why. I don't think people in the One Piece community really understand how cracked Big Mom's ability is. And I'm going to sit here and explain why it's so cracked. Okay, so imagine you're fighting her, right? And say for instance, your men around you are fighting as well. And she begins to suck the life out of them to heal her injuries that you have caused her. And on top of that, she's using it to power herself up. And she's using her own lifespan to power her up while she's fighting you. And it's like, you've just gone back to square one. Yet she's more powerful. What are you meant to do? Like, you probably wasted, I don't know, most of your stamina. And she's like, okay, cool. Yeah, let me just use some of your soldiers that are around us. And let me just heal myself. On top of that, she... That is true. When you realize it, with all Big Mom abilities and power and everything she had in her arsenal, she did have crazy potential though. I mean she she utilized it. Like we've seen her like we've seen it this whole display of her power. That's crazy though. Using her own lifespan to recover and get more powerful, to grow larger, to simply wipe the lifespan. Of a lot of people around you. Just like that. Oh my god. And she's a conqueror user who has off she has advanced conquerors, advanced army net, and she has really good obviously hockey. With a powerful devil fruit to where she can have lightning powers and attacks and have fire powers and attacks. And she can combine them as well. She can really create her own, like, devil fruit beast. As she did against Law and Kid. Bro, what? She can make many minions around her. From trash and, like, anything around her. She can turn a plank, a wooden plank, into a subordinate. Just like that. She will have all advanced hockey types, which I do believe she has. She's a Yonko, she should. And when you then think about her creating her own little army while she's fighting you, I don't think people really realize that when they're talking about Big Mom. If Big Mom really wanted to, remember, inanimate objects can become her slaves. There's a reason Zeus and whatnot exist. And it's like, when you then factor that in and you're like, okay, cool. You could be fighting her. She could be healing herself by using your own soldier's lives. She can then use her own lifespan to obviously heal herself and then power herself up. And then you're fighting a group of inanimate objects that are now her little army. And you'll find all these different things at once. You're dealing with all these things at once. And she's constantly healing. How are you really meant to beat her? And that's why she's in the running. She is one of the most broken characters that was never able to use her full potential. But moving on from Big Mom, we have Momonosuke. Now I know Momonosuke is probably the like most left field like throw ever, but when you really sit down and think about who Momonosuke is tied to and you think about how strong they were, you're really like, oh, okay, I get it. The best way to put Momonosuke at his max potential is take it for that don't oh, when you put your heart and soul into creating something, you want it to make an impact, to endure, to experience it. I did. Oh, snap. But moving on from Big Mom, we have Momonosuke. Now, I know Momonosuke is probably the, like, most left field, like, throw ever. But when you really sit down and think about who Momonosuke is tied to and you think about how strong they were, you're really like, 
Oh, okay, I get it. The best way to put Momonosuke at his max potential is taking all the good qualities from Kaido and all the good qualities of Odin and then mixing it together. And this what I was saying, bro, because he's literally a combined version of he a combined of Kaido and Odin combined, bro, with the swordsmanship and the, the physical body of Odin and having every single he literally has every ability. Inside him, just like Kaido, the hybrid beast form, turn to the giant dragon, the blast breath, the durability, bro. And get for Odin, Odin, he can learn swordsmanship, hockey, like, bro. As of right now, bro, right now, because he could transform, to, he could transform to a giant dragon. He's stronger than a lot of vice admirals. I just right now without even training. Well, well currently he's training right now. Currently, him, Yamato, and the rest of the samurai, they, they, they kind of get stronger at training, especially Yamato and Momo. But, like, bro, he could become a top tier. Like, he, he legit could be Yonko level with his potential. If, if he was a master, all, all his. Double fruit abilities like Kaido did and has like not older level swordsmanship, but like if you can have like let's say let's say law at least law level swordsmanship with some good hockey, like good hockey, bro. He's like Yahoo level, right? Bro. He's like pulling out as of right now. He's stronger than Frankie, uh, freaking uh, Brooke. Nami, Usopp, Chopper. He's arguably, like, arguably, he arguably stronger than Jinbe. Nah, not play, I play, I play. He ain't stronger than Jinbe. He <laughs> but he was so strong than Frankie, Hamalpo, so some good characters. You create that person. It sounds like a fantasy character, but no, it's real. Momonosuke does exist, exist, and he will probably get to that status at the end of the series. You know, I say by the end of the series, but I don't even think he's going to get there by the end of the series. Yeah. I think it's going to be after the series finishes, then he'll get there. But yeah, just imagine a swordsman Kaido. That, that's just the best way to put it, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> Momonosuke's going to be broken, man. Now, following up on Momonosuke, we have used this kid. This kid. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to be looking at me like, what did you just say? Let me cook. Let me cook. That's not crazy to say. That's not crazy to say. Well, all the flags that he be, he be getting are not, like, using his double fruit to his fullest potential. And people always say that he underutilized his fruit. I, I kind of agree with it. But at the same time, he's not going to be magneto level of magnetism. Like, I get it. He has a magnet fruit. But, like, he, he, he's not going to be magneto with the fruit. I mean, he can be. He has the potential to be, but I don't know. I think his potential potential would be getting stronger hockey, developing his conqueror's hockey. Because yeah, remember, kid is a confirmed conqueror. He's confirmed. <laughs> Kobe's not. Like, come on now. That spec of hockey and with terrible devil fruit usage, this guy is still one of the stronger characters in One Piece. Not one of the strongest, but he's one of the stronger characters in One Piece. Kid has the exact same powers as Magneo, and he also has the conquer potential as Luffy. Put those two together, and Kid is one of the most dangerous people to walk the planet. Kid doesn't even know he can make force fields out of his magnetism. Do you know how like crazy he would be if he could just create a force field? He would have been able to block the divine departure if he knew what a force field was. Like Kid is probably one of the saddest characters in One Piece because I, every time I look at him, I'm just like, you could have been so much better. Like his role gun was his best creation, and that is like probably one of the worst things Magneto could whip up on the spot. Like. Every time I look at Kid, I'm like, Magneo is what you are meant to be. And that is kind of crazy since if you know anything about Magneo is crazy. Basically, what I'm telling you to do is I'm telling you to stick Magneo. See how I use an ad blocker. Very mindful, very demure. I'm not watching ads like the rest of you. Magneo in the One Piece verse and then give him every type of hockey at his max level. And watch how he terrorizes the verse. Kid is definitely definitely in the running as max potential kid is definitely one of the stronger characters that one piece can can produce and so following up on kid we have kuma 
I know Kuma is probably like, wow, why do you bring up Kuma for? Now, sit back, let's have a chat. Now think about it, Kuma's using his Buccaria stats properly. He has Future Sight and he has Advanced Armor and whatnot. He's just really proficient. Future Sight? Since when Kuma has Future Sight? Battle. And then all the attacks you've been landing on him, he's like, hey, take my suffering and pain. And then you just fall down to the ground because on top of that, you're dealing with your own injuries. And now he's given the injuries that you have given him. Kuma, when he's able to use Devil Fruit properly, it's going to be crazy. Or imagine if Kuma creates like a bubble of his own memories. Or imagine if Kuma like picks up random people around the battlefield and starts dishing out their pain to you. So you're having to deal with the pain that they just took. Do you know how insane that is? On so many fronts, his Devil Fruit is busted and they're kind of lucky that this guy is now a vegetable because if he wasn't a vegetable, he'd be busted, man. And so finally, last but not least... I mean... At, at this point in the story, I don't think Kuma's gonna become like... crazy strong or stronger. I think he might be... I think he's gonna stay where he at. With his level of power. I mean... He got Bonnie back. He going back to the, the Re Revolutionary Army. I mean, this is what it is. Let's focus on his daughter, Bonnie. Now, everybody knew that Bonnie was going to be on this list. And Bonnie is somebody that if she is able to really cone her devil fruit and is able to get past that stamina issue that she has, may Lord have mercy on everybody's soul. Because everybody's getting turned into a child. She's doing whatever she likes. She's the exact same girl that's like, okay, yeah, I mean, like a Nika future. What do you mean you're making a Nika future? What? Bonnie's Devil Fruit is literally the definition of cracked. Like, there isn't any Devil Fruit in my eyes that at its max potential is stronger. Laws is busted. I've talked about other busted Devil Fruits in this video, but in my opinion, listen, when you look at Bonnie's, man, it's like, there is much that you can do on her. Now, as of right now, we don't know if she has Kong Krasaki, but the way she was moving on Egghead makes me believe that she kind of does. And I'm not going to give it to her here, because if I did, then that's just me being cheesy. But if if you wouldn't believe that you can believe that but i feel like i've covered bonnie enough so with that being said let's go into who i believe has the most i mean bro but how did you have crazy potential as of right now like she has arm in the hockey bro she has arm in the hockey Usa don't have it chopper don't have it robin don't have it i think frankie has it brooke don't have it she has armed hockey in her arsenal. She has the ability to turn giant in her arsenal just, just like Luffy. You have the same type of ability like Luffy. As in like the the gear three ability, turn giant and can fly. And has the ability to turn people into child, into children. Bro, she does have crazy potential. But I don't know if she's going to utilize that potential, though. I don't think she's going to, like, project it or prolong her potential and get stronger. I don't think so. I don't know. Because she was, like, the one of the main people for Egghead. The main main figures in Egghead. Because of her, Kuma, and the whole Saturn thing. Most potential in the verse. Now, in my opinion, I believe it's Bonnie. And the only reason I say it's Bonnie is because if she's really able to hold in on that devil fruit and get it to where it's meant to get to, I don't think there's a single soul in that One Piece verse that's going to be standing up to her when she's at her full potential. Especially if you do believe that she does gain conquerors, then I mean, look, I don't think there's a single soul touching her when she gets that. But as for right now, we don't know if she has it, but I do believe at her max potential due to all the busted things that her devil fruit can do on its own. And then you then add on the extra hockey advantages that allows her to cross certain boundaries where people may have high hockey for her so she can't affect them but since she does have good hockey she'll be able to affect them it's kind of like yeah i don't see it like i don't see like most people being able to beat her and on top of that she then is able to copy busted devil fruits like luffy's come on man but even if you want to say luffy has better potential i'm then gonna say big mom and i do believe that big mom does have a higher scene in them luffy call me crazy all right but I'm telling you that woman when she is going all out is the strongest person. Mm. And I know people are gonna attack me, be like, what do you mean? What are you talking about? But hey, look, listen, listen. What I'm saying is trust me, trust me. But yeah, I think that's the end of the video now. Um I did have other names on the list like Enel and Fujitora, but look, listen, I didn't want to include them on the list because I didn't feel like they'll make it. I me personally, I think 
I mean, there's some good ones on the list. They Bonnie and everything. But I think I'm going to have to go with Kobe because he's still active. And he still play a role within the story. And he's a future of the Marines. And he's he's got pupil. I don't know. His potential is crazy. And he and Kobe is looked at as a next generation of Garp. Being being the rival of the Pirate King of Luffy. Just like how Smoker was built up to be that. In a point of the story, it's from like Alabasta all the way to like like after the time skip. I did have Oden as well when I was like, wait, Momonosuke exists. When am I gonna include Oden when Momonosuke exists? So yeah. Um yeah, Fujitora and then Noah were the only ones that didn't make it. And the reason I had them there was because Fujitora, as I always love to say, if he really wants to, he's dropping a moon on your head. And and no is somebody that everybody likes to talk about when it comes to their potential. But I didn't see a reason for him to be there if he doesn't have Kong Krizaki. Yeah, people like Sakazuki who I could argue has better potential than him. So I was like, hmm, I don't really want to do that. Katakuri is also in the running as well. He was there as well. He was one of the main people that I was going to put on the farm that I was like, uh, but yeah, I think that's it from me today. I'm very tired. I want to sleep. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you for all the support. So till next time. Yeah.